Well, well, well. Resident Evil, we meet again. What's going on, YouTube, and welcome to a brand... Well, not a brand new game, but a brand new series for us, anyway. Resident Evil 4. One of my favorite games of all time. I remember watching this... Uh, I remember watching the trailer for this when I was when I was little. I don't think I was even in high school yet. This game is so... Yeah, 2005, I was in 8th grade. And I remember my friend, my best friend in the world, uh, Reaper actually came over to my place and he's like, Oh man, you gotta get this. And I wasn't really sure because uh, I wasn't really good at those kinds of games. But man, like Resident Evil is 4 is another one of those games that kind of changed my life. Like, more so even than than the you know than the original Resident Resident Evil trio. Like two was the first Resident Evil game I ever played, and then it was one that I and I bought Resident Evil one at a flea market actually, and it scared the hell out of me. And I bought Resident Evil three after that. And I went through a whole like Resident Evil craze, and but I never like beat any of them. Uh. And, well, that's not true. I, I did beat I did beat a few of them, but I never beat, like, one or three. And then Resident Evil 4 was the one that really was, like, like, wow, like, this is, this is amazing. Like, I love this. This is, this is, like, my life. So this game really means a lot to me, and I'm so excited to be able to play it for you guys. So without further ado, let's jump right into this. Resident Evil 4. Oh, music to my ears. 1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. Ooh, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Or so they thought. <laughs> Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. Leon, my man. Any game with Leon in it is amazing. A secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Wow. This looks amazing. This gets me short in the stick. Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. Huh. Yeah, counting on them, my ass. Like always, your help dies within the first five minutes of the game. This, they really did port this into HD. It looks good. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. 
apparently she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Ah, it's freezing. So cold all of a sudden. I'm probably gonna... I'm like in awe. It looks really good for Resident Evil 4. This looks this looks really good. I think I'm blown away. They did a really good job. I don't remember half these cutscenes because my memory of RE4 is just like, oh, skip cutscene, skip cutscene, skip cutscene. Because, you know, when you play it so long, you don't want to sit there through, right, cutscene after cutscene. But since I haven't played this in years, it's, it's almost like I'm playing it for the first time again. Except, you know, I got those strats down. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. They're in on it. Don't listen to them, Leon. Jeez. Who are these? Get back guys? in the car. Did you say something? Oh, Leon, Hunnigan. I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. Wow. Hunnigan looks amazing, too. More amazing than usual, that is. Oh my god, this shit looks great! Holy crap! They really have done themselves with this HD remaster. Oh my god, the textures and everything? Jesus Christ, I'm blown away. Let's see, we got first aid, dirty handgun bullets, Okay, that's the knife. That's... Alright. <clears throat> so it's kind of like... So it's already five controls. Alright. Ooh, spooky! It's spooky! I thought there was something... yeah. Wow, there's really? There's nothing in there? But fuck you too. Ugh. How many times do you think I'm gonna die playing this? Ah, oh, it doesn't look grainy at all. Uh, excuse me. Sir? And it looks grungy, but that's how it's supposed to be, you know? Because all this fucking shit's dirty as farmhouses. I was wondering if he might recognize a girl in this photograph. ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you. You kind of just barged into his house. Well, shit. Freeze. This motherfucker. It's in freeze. Well, see, they won't let me. They won't let me do moves to him yet. Yeah, there we go. Of course they drive away. Oh no, that's not that's not the trucks. Oh well I guess I think they they must have driven that police truck off the road. 
That's probably what Is happened. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Yes, I'll take the green. That means they're gonna cut me into mincemeat. I hope Ashley's okay. Yeah, me too. Uh, and then you start out with such low health, too. It's awful. So the way you're... That's like what you're supposed to do, right? Jump out of... Wow, okay. They're smarter than, than their RE5 counterparts. This game looks awesome. The good thing about this game, about this ver this generation of Resident Evil games, is that they give you enough ammo to kill all the enemies. Oh, where's the puppy? It's a puppy. Yes, I will take that, and I'll take that as well. I'm not gonna save right now. I'm not gonna save right now. Come on, where's the puppy? I hate hearing... I hate hearing dogs in pain. Hell yeah, I'm gonna help it. See, how could you just leave the dog there? Like, I don't get it. Like, you might be able to shoot it dead, but then, even then, like, that wouldn't even come to my mind. Yeah, I'm not wasting the ammo on exploding those things. Is he- why isn't he dead yet? Bastard. Yeah. I know there's a guy in there. I wonder if they changed any of... I wonder if they changed anything. Yeah, watch me... watch me get my ass surrounded. Fuck. Aw, oh, bastards. Trying to save ammo, and then do me, didn't do me any good. Ugh, I just want to use the axe. Guess there's no sex discrimination here. Better find her fast. That's right, Leon. You better find her fast. Well, back to you, buddy. Ugh. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Oh, that's so stupid.
Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Honigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it, thanks. Ooh, playing manual. I don't need that bullshit. Ah, uh, no! Damn it. I forgot about this part. Oh, okay, so they did grab the police. Try to sniper with the handgun. Oh shit! No, 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 no! This is still quite the survival horror game, mind. Fuck. Wow, really didn't give me anything? Am I just locked in here now? Can I do the ground moves now? Oh. Yes! I skipped the chainsaw guy. Hmm, I wonder who that is ringing the bell. everyone going? Bingo? Resident Evil. <laughs> Begins uh, with her ring. Bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. 
Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. <laughs> yes, give me the beatas, putas. <laughs> yes, give me the putas. <laughs> so what you're normally supposed to do? There's an unpleasant odor coming from the kettle. It sure doesn't smell like a refreshing drink to me. Because this is the first... Oh, there's only one thing in... Oh, fine. Cheapskates. Fuck you, window. I have to stop using handguns just to open boxes. What you're supposed to do is enter this building and then a chainsaw guy comes and then you know you you barricade all the windows and the and the doors and then try to hold out for as long as you can or until you defeat the chainsaw guy the other thing you can do is just grab the shotgun and then run run right to the end over here that door over there But if you can just hold out long enough against the villagers without, um, you can hold off long enough against the villagers without going in that door, then you don't have to, uh, fight the chainsaw guy, which, thankfully I didn't, because I probably would have died to him. Recently, there have been information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village. Do not let this American agent get in contact with the prisoner. For those of you not yet informed, the prisoner is being held in an old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready. The prisoner is to stay there until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American near the prisoner. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However. I feel that this intrusion at this particular time is not just a coincidence. I sense a third party other than the United States government, government involved here. My fellow men, stay alert. Chief B. Torres Mendez, aka Lord Sadler. When you don't have much, anything counts. First aid, well not first aid, I mean uh, green herb. Ooh. I bet mercenaries looks, yes, yellow herb. The yellow herbs will increase your max health. Ooh, there's a cow here. Hello, cow. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice. What, he didn't drop an egg? Cheapskate. Nice. Nice. Flash grenade will come in handy later on for sure. I was hesitant to, to come in here because I'm like, well, maybe, just maybe. I'll still trigger the chainsaw, the chainsaw man, but no. He decided you better not mess with Leon S. Kennedy. I will take the shotgun. Yes, I will take that. Fuck you, window. Glad I turned around. Yes, shotgun ammo. Leon has amazingly dex uh, dexterous legs. Do we not not take any damage from falling that high? I think he's got to be some kind of amazing.
Ugh, we're still not done with this yet? Seriously not down yet? Come on, two headshots and a... That's so bad. Why can't I do ground stomp or anything on this guy? Fuck your hats. to conserve ammo. Come on, get the emblem. About the medallions. Fifteen medallions, seven in the farm, eight in the cemetery. For those who destroy ten or more will be awarded. The rest is illegible. Seven in the farm. Probably worth it. Worth the two ammo that I spent. Oh, here's another one of these emblems. Well, don't mind if I do. Take the green herb. You gotta be thorough. Gotta be. Ah ha ha, there's another one over there. Nice. Yeah, that's what I wanted. The beer stein. Every little bit of money counts in the beginning of the game. It really does. Well damn, how fast do you have to press this fucking thing? Fuck. This game's gonna be real fun. Real fun indeed. You bastards. Yeah, 
Yeah, give me your fucking money. Spindle. Spindle. Come to daddy. Okay, now I gotta be careful. Fuck. I tried to shoot the thing in his hand, but didn't work. Oh, shit, shit. He throws it really far. Fuck! Holy shit! He throws that shit hella far. Uh, fuck. Fuck you. Damn it. I'll waste it there just because I don't want to die. Before it blows up, holy shit. I think that guy took care of his friend there. Luckily for me, I will take the grenade. Thank you. No clues here. As sometimes it's like it auto-aims to some place and I don't even know where it, where it's going. Fuck you, spider. Nice, give me the treasure. 1200? That's pretty good. Can I go around? I swear there's like a second entrance to this. I guess not. How many times have you guys died to, uh, to this, to this one that's just coming up, this tripwire? That one, when you're just so eager and you run right into it? Or this one? I think I've definitely been killed by both before. Or at least been hit. Oh yeah, screen herb, I'm gonna need all the greens. I'm gonna need all the all the greens. Cutscene. Like them? No. You? <clears throat> okay. I have only one very important question. You got a smoke? Got gum. Perfect. Oof. The big cheese. The... What? He took the words right out of my mouth, that motherfucker. <laughs> Ooh. Not today, boy. Not, not today, boy. Ooh, seventy-four percent hit ratio. That's not bad. Yeah, I'll save it.
Look at that. I love that typewriting animation. It's great. <laughs> 